camera. I'm gonna be serious. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, your brown sugar boo, Michelle. And today I'm here with my fantastical, magical, inspirational brother, Rob. Hi y'all. <laughs> And today, y'all, we're gonna give we're gonna, we're gonna be giving you guys a little tipsy tipsy on how to avoid drama, especially in fucking high school. Because since senior year, I cannot have an easy come month. Like someone is always trying me for what reason? I don't know. Like out of a thousand and trillion person in this world, you think I give a fuck? I don't. Yeah, don't care. Don't care, still don't care. I don't care. I don't. Take that in mind. Anyway, but guys, I got my little senior picture taken. And I'm looking a little scrumptious. Whatever. And also, you know, I went to prom or whatever. And if you guys want to see all these pictures, just go, you know, on my little Instagram, which will be linked down below. So make sure you check that out. And also, I'll be putting my brother's, you know, medias down there. If you guys want to go check him out. Yeah. Don't check him out too much. He got a, he got a fiance. <laughs> fiance. Anyway. selective of your friends and your friend groups not everyone is your friend not everyone is going to actually not everyone who kikis with you actually cares. cares about you you know so you have to be selective about your friends and selective about your friend groups and if someone is not truly a friend then you need to distance yourself from them because they're going to you know add to the drama in your life and you don't need that High school's already stressful enough. You it know? is. So you should just purr. Yeah. Dodo. They should take dodo. Next second tip is <clears throat> don't be a follower, be a leader. Cause you cannot always be following, you know, what people like do. Like you gotta be your own person. You cannot just be like, oh, because they do this, you're gonna do it. Like, you know, you gotta be your own person. You can always do that because like as your parent would say, if they jump off a cliff, would you jump too? I'm gonna be like, don't do that, don't do that. But yeah, you gotta be a leader, not a follower. But like, I wanna like talk about that for a second and then go off in a little other direction. So in not being a follower, the other advice I have is be your own person. You are not your friend groups, you are not your friends, you are yourself. Your friends can influence you, your friends can have some sort of impact on how you you know, you carry yourself or how you, you know, get um, inspiration to get involved in certain things. Um, but don't, don't um, be peer pressured into following other people. Be your own individualistic person and allow yourself to, you know, allow yourself to be you. Be and not, who you are. Boy, you are right. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next one is be casual. Because like you might not like someone, but like you don't have to be like, oh, I don't like that person. Like you don't you don't gotta be stingy like that. Like just be casual with people. Like it doesn't matter, cause you never know. You really never know. Just be casual. You never know like what that person could be going through. Also, like they might be like very mean to you, but that doesn't mean you have to be mean back. But, like, at the same time, that doesn't mean, like, you cannot, you know, step up and be like, hey, yo, like, I know you don't like me, but, like, you ain't got to be acting like this. So, you know, take your own charges. You don't really got to be mean to people. Just be like, I'm not, you don't even need to speak to them, you know. You, there, there doesn't need to be any, like, interaction between y'all, but, you know, don't try to start anything. Just be cordial, period. Period. Anyone? Um, I 
was going to say, let the black button become your best friend. When people get on your nerves, when people try you, when people are starting to be a little too much in your life. What you do? Block, block. them. It's my block. Arfaya, block on Facebook, block on WhatsApp, block on telephone, block on Instagram, block, 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 block. Block them. My mama even said it. Block. I was having a little, a little tear about, but she said, block. Block them. Block Which is them. really something I gotta do. But then at the same time, I want them to, I want them to see me succeed, to get them jealous. That's why I don't want to block them sometimes. Don't be Michelle. You have to block them. You have to block them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. The. Eight hours later. Walk away. Walk away. Y'all listening? Walk away from situation. If someone try to confront you, just walk away. If they still trying to get your attention, that's on them. And you know who told me that? My principal. You know why? Because she had told me if I just had to walk away, it would have been better. Because, oh my God, you know, let me shut the fuck up. Because if, if I talk right now, I might a whole nother situation. Let me just roop. Zip it. You see, ah, mind your business. Zip it. <laughs> Zip it. Anything else? Mm, I would say, don't be afraid to um, stick up for yourself. Um, if someone is talking trash on you, bullying you, Stick up for yourself. You don't have to get physical. It's you, a stick up. You, 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 you don't have to get physical. But you can be direct about it. You can tell your parents about it. You can tell your principal. You know, and that does not make you a snitch. If someone is threatening you or bullying you, it doesn't make you a snitch to confide in adults that you trust. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the end of the day, um, regardless of what age you are, you're still a student, a child of someone learning. inside that space, learning, supposed to be up. feeling safe inside that space that you're in. And if someone is threatening you or bullying you or making you feel unsafe, then people deserve to know. Your parents and principal deserve to know. Yeah. And make sure you always have someone to talk to about it. Like, I know at school you might not be like, you know, talkative or whatever. You might not be like wanting to talk to people at school because sometimes I feel like that. But, you know, in your life, just in general, make sure you have, you know, that someone, you know, older than you that you can talk to, you know. Like me, I, I talk to my brother, like, <laughs> you know, everything. When I mean everything, I mean everything. Like, even the one you cannot think about, he knows that. Eh? All my brothers, sister, everything, they know. I even started talking more to my mom. She knows. Like, you know, don't be afraid to communicate because you're like, oh, they're going to think I'm a snitch. That does not make you a snitch. That make you, your safety, be safer. You know? Because they're, they're not going to be like, oh, if I come out, like your parents are going to find out something you don't want them to. Ha! I'm telling my brother. <laughs> I am telling. I will snitch, y'all. I will snitch. No, you're not, you're not going to come and meet me, eh? I will snitch. And if you try me, I'll come out with my taser. Let's see who's talking now. <laughs> Anything? Uh, mm, another thing I would say to keep in mind, another tip would be, um, remember that high school is such a temporary moment in your life. I know high school can feel very, very like draining and it can feel sometimes like, dang, I can't wait for this to be over. But like high school in itself is so temporary. Once you're done with high school, you're going to be done with high school and you won't have to look back on the bad moments or whatever because you'll be a full-fledged adult doing things that, you know, aren't, don't concern high schoolers. Um, a lot of the pettiness that happens in high school is because people take high school way too seriously. Too serious. Way. It's too serious. You are not the main character. Uh-uh. <laughs> you are too serious. Too serious. I don't care. Too serious. Like, listen. Here's a little, a little tips also. Because, like, 
sometimes you might be friend with younger people, which tends to happen. And you know, especially for me, from freshman year me to now me, I'm surprised. Because I have come so far to the point that, you know, in so many ways that I'm like, wow, I really did that. Like, I did that. You didn't do it. I did it. But like, me as a senior me, I'm having a little bit more too much fun, I'll say. To put it in a better way. <laughs> um, <laughs> too much fun. But like, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy your moments. Enjoy. Just don't give a fuck about anyone. Give a fuck about yourself. Care about yourself, your mental health, you know, your grades. Um, yeah. Yourself. <laughs> and if people think you're talking about them, just let them know they're not the main character. Period. You're period. the main character in your story. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this little video. Um, yeah. And you know, hopefully I'll post this by when Wednesday. If it's if it comes before Wednesday, beautiful. If it doesn't, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just be lazy, honestly, because I take now 24 sevens. But yeah, um, make sure you go check out our social media, which will be linked down below. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you tell me in the comments. You know, or you can text me on Instagram. I see all my messages, and I answer. And yeah, and also thank you for the new subscribers and my new fans. I feel famous. I'm not there yet, but I will be there. Period. Well, it's my goal. I will make it. I will make it. Oh, the God of Jesus Christ, I will make it. Hallelujah, I will make it. Yeah? Okay. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>